love yours. Hey you guys, it's your girl Leah, and today I'm here with another video. Period, period. Mm. Wait a minute, y'all. I just came up those stairs. Give me a break. But look, I just shot another video, so if you see me in the same outfit, don't say nothing. But yeah, I'm about to give y'all an in-depth tour. Y'all just seeing how the room look. This is my roommate side over here. I'm not gonna show it, but yeah. I go to Fred Smear University. I was a graphic design major, but I recently changed it to digital marketing. So yeah, let's get to this video. So when you first walk in, you have this little bathroom area, y'all. That's not bad about Fred Smear, but the rest is very bad in these apart in these dorms. So you see the little rust in the sink, rust around it, but the water come out good. The water pressure is absolutely the water pressure is really good. So we put our rags over here. This is my side, that's my roommate's side. And under there, we just got all our cleaning supplies together. This is my trash can, yeah. And it's the lights, this control the fan. And on her side is the thermostat, okay? And right here, we have our wardrobe. Ooh, sorry y'all. We have our wardrobes because we want the TV to be up here. This is actually my roommate TV, but we watch TV together. Sorry if I'm breathing hard. This is my wardrobe right here. Need to wash clothes, but I put my jackets and stuff over here. And these are just shirts, random things. Yeah. And then I have my washing clothes, washing detergent down there. Over here. But this is where I keep my undergarments and socks. And on this one, this is where I keep my shoes. Let me lock this. All right. And this is my bed. So everything I got is in a recent dorm video. My dorm hall and then my move-in day. Everything is in here. So I got these three pictures. <clears throat> y'all don't mind me i'm sorry so i got three these three pictures that i got off amazon and i got something else that was hanging up but it fell so this is my desk you guys so i should have my little vanity that i got from my room all that and that and then i put my hair stuff over there and then in here i just got like random stuff and my sister's been looking for this brush and I actually got it. So let me take this turn. And then I got my school supplies right here. Yeah. And then I keep my t-shirt right here because if you ever live in the dorm, you know. Leave your tissue. Yes, we may still use it, okay? So right here we have the little microwave. This is my roommate microwave. And we only can bring one, so she brought the microwave. This is my fridge, pretty empty nothing but drinks literally and i got some food up there some frozen food but yeah nothing in here but drinks and etc and then right here i have my mirror that i look in i just put it over here so i can see it in the morning and i got my shower shoes next to a mat that leads into the bathroom so i'm gonna tell y'all what's in these right here so I'm on my steps do so I can't get on the bed and show y'all what's inside of these. So in this one, I have perfume, facial stuff that I use only at night, and then lotion and stuff. And right here, I have my tissue and toilet paper. And right here, I have my Bible study stuff and my journal, which I need to take home because I'm on my fall break and I really need this. This is my class schedule. And right here, spoons and oatmeal. This is mostly where my breakfast go, which I need to go get some more cereal. And I have one dinner left. And then my noodles go in here. Plates and bowls. And let me get off the bed. So this is the bed. I told y'all everything is linked. I do have a headboard because honestly, I didn't even really need one because I don't use it. Yeah. So now we're going under the bed. 
All right. So y'all, under my bed is not that clean, okay? Because just don't mind it. But I'm gonna show y'all everything because this is a dorm tour, so I'm gonna show y'all everything. I don't know when it's gonna be uploaded. Probably tomorrow, the next day, but it's gonna get uploaded because I owe y'all videos. Mm. I'm tired, y'all. Don't mind me. But yeah, let's get back into this tour. So under the bed, I have a tote, a shower caddy, and some more. And then right here, I have a desk organizer that was on my desk, but I took it down. So this one, I have all my shower stuff, like my facial wash, witch hazel, my um, mouthwash that I'm running low on. And I got another one, y'all. Where is it? I had got another one. I wanted to try a different one. This is nasty. Like, it, it don't give no strongness or nothing. But, yeah. Let me close. There we go. So, I got my loofah that I don't use because it's no room in that bathroom. And I'm going to show y'all. Toothbrush and toothpaste. And then, I got my facial wash, like I said. And this is just my scrub that I use with the loofah. But, I ain't got loofah. <laughs> so, and then, it's my body wash I use. And right here, I just keep some hair stuff that when I have my wig on, but I don't have a wig on no more. So it's just right here. Okay, I'll just move this out of the way. And right here, in this little tote right here, I just have my lotion and this that I put on. And then I got trash bags, my facial band, vitamins that I don't use, Q tips, got extra toothbrush. What I said was nasty. All that is literally um, trash bags. And then more vitamins that I don't take, which I should be taking. And then I got one bar soap because you never know you need a bar. Oop, and it's spilling. So that's it in this one. Put my shower candy back <laughs> up here. And then right here, I told y'all it's the organizer. And right here is my three tier that I keep my. Um, this is my three tier that I keep my washcloths and stuff in. So let me just show y'all. Up here is my washcloths, which I feel like I'm running low. Oh no, nah, it's just it was separated. My washcloths that I probably need to wash when I come back. I got my towels in here, and then right here is where I keep some books in my old journal. Yeah. I actually need to read this book. Any books by, um, what's it called? Jason Reynolds, I really want to read because I read All American Boy, I think, and it was so good. So I need to start reading this one. But Jason Reynolds books are so good. Oh, here you go, right here, actually. All American Boys. This book is so good. And I read it in seventh grade. And I got I had I had to buy it because like it was so good. And most of these books are actually about racism being profiled and stuff like that. But y'all should read with Jason Reynolds. Don't mind these creased up shoes. <laughs> so right here I just got chips. Chips and gummies. Some more chips back here. That I haven't opened yet. And then I got my water for my noodles because y'all, I hate using same water. Especially like dorm same water. I use same water at my house, but like that dorm same water, mm -mm. barely want to brush my teeth with it. Why would I eat some noodles with it? And right here is my art supplies for my art classes, which I'm not an art major anymore. So like I kind of don't need this stuff, but I like doing art. So I'm going to keep the stuff. Back here, I just got some shoes that I don't want inside of my little jar. And then this is just a bag in case I ever go home, like winter break. So I won't have to take all my clothes and everything home with me. I just pack them in my suitcase. So y'all, that is actually everything that's in my dorm room. But I'm gonna show y'all the bathroom just cause I'm not sure if it's clean or not because I haven't been here. I don't know if my sweetmates can be clean or not. So y'all gonna see the truth. And I'ma let y'all, okay? Can I guys be? 
it did. It was not clean. But and it's still in the toilet and I'm not gonna deal with that day. What I do is actually leave. Hope y'all enjoyed the little dorm tour. I don't know how long it was because it's really nothing much to the dorm. And I really could tell y'all like how school been going. Honestly, school has been going pretty well. It was like, at the beginning, it was like real easy. I'm like, yeah, college ain't nothing like people say. But as I got further in, I'm like, okay, college is a little stressful, but it's just like, you gotta have the mindset. Like if you making it out to be bad, it's gonna be bad. But if you got like the mindset, like, yeah, college is gonna go good. I'm gonna get good grades. I'm turning my work on time. And honestly, it go good. And I think the journaling really helps me reading my scriptures and everything helps. As far as like going to a PWI, it's okay, it's chill, but it's kind of boring. I wouldn't say boring is a bad thing because I don't really party or none of that stuff. I just don't, but I kind of like the choice I made. I just don't think I will live in a dorm next year. I'm only 30 minutes away. Like I could drive every day or I could just do my classes where like I don't have classes on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, like something like that. But I don't know yet. But I do know for a fact I might not be coming back to stay in dorms, but I would definitely continue to go to school. And I know I'm all over the place, but like a key thing that really is helping me, like I said, was journaling, reading my scriptures, and everything. Sometimes it's like I get very lonely. Not in like a bad way, but it's like it's very lonely not having friends. I mean I talk to my roommate, etc. But like I saw people in class, but it's like I don't know, but like I went to HBCU campus, they were so friendly and like they're not as friendly as a P at a PWI. I don't know. It's like everybody be like they in competition and I'm not in competition with nobody, honestly. I just be trying to have fun. Like I don't wanna be friends with people that feel like we in a competition. So with that being said, Francis Mary is actually a good college though. Like educational wise. And you do meet some good people, but I haven't met nobody, really. I do meet one person and we have we actually never hung out. We just be texting, and I do her hair this weekend. So hopefully, I get a new friend. But like, I'm not really here to make friends. I'm here to get my education. But the good thing about going to college that's close to your home, you still get to hang with like family. So like, I don't party. I do nothing on the weekdays. On the weekend, I have fun and just chill with my people. But only you gonna chill on the weekends. You do that work. But y'all stay blessed and I hope y'all have a great, 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 great school year. And if you're choosing Francis Marion, please do. And I'm in Swamp Fox actually. So y'all would know I'm in Swamp Fox. Mm, we do have two sides. We have the oldies and the new the newbies. And I'm on the old uh, the old bees. They call it old the bees. <laughs> but yeah. And you also can get an apartment your first year, but you gotta have credits and you also gotta like be either like an honors program or something like that. But they are higher, so I I suggest you do the dorm first if you're trying to see if you wanna live on campus. But it's nothing wrong with commuting if you do live in Florence. Because I'm definitely gonna commute. And I ain't gonna catch y'all one week. I just stay home the whole week because I did not want to come back to this dorm. Cause the bugs are ridiculous but we are in the forest not the forest <laughs> we are in the woods so you can expect bugs but with that being said i hope y'all have a great and marvelous day and i'll see you guys later I you better on the first day i should have said what's wrong